Aloha, Internet family. Happy Indigenous Cultures Day, which is still a silly holiday in my mind that we're even needing to have the conversation honor the ancestors from the land that the Merkua or America lives on. In this video, I'll be talking about rebellion and what it actually means on an inner sense, on the hero's journey, on the inner psychic dialogue and the global dialogue that we are all a part of right now, which is that of re-evolution, also known as revolution or rebellion. And so I want to call to mind and heart all the people of this planet that have perished in resistance to the empire. Let me tell you what I mean by the empire. Anyone familiar with the author Philip K. Dick, a great sage, he wrote I Dream of Electric Sheep, I Robot, a lot of these books that we all love. Um, actually, scratch that, I Robot's Isaac Asimov. But uh, Through a Scanner Darkly is another one of PKD's epic works. But he talks about the empire. And the empire is the colonial, predatory, and extractor mindset that has been running rampant on this planet for a long time. And so as a warrior for the earth, a warrior of the stars, I stand with my speech in opposition to that empire. But, and, the rebellion has to come from within. And the, the master Osho spoke of the greatest inner rebellion is actually creativity. True creativity and individualism is the most terrifying thing to the empire. And let me tell you why. Because true creativity springs from a source of innovation and evolution. It necessarily mutates the culture. Great works of art, true art, it mutates the culture. It completely opens a new pathway to the society and the culture. And guess what? This is very dangerous for the status quo. This is very dangerous for business as usual. And that's why you don't see artists making the salaries of finance investment bankers. And yet the greatest artists are still like heroes and the gods and goddesses of our imagination because they're leading the way. And so as an artist, that's my duty on this planet is to lead the way with speech, with right action and with alignment to our ancient roots, our earthly roots, as well as the future that our hearts know is possible, the positive future. We can make this shift positive. And here's how we're going to do it. It's not going to be an outer rebellion. No outer rebellion or outer revolution has worked. You may have dethroned the current tyrant, but then the next person installed becomes the tyrant. So let's think about this for a second. All the revolutions, American Revolution, French Revolution, Russian Revolution, the Nazi Revolution, they, they flipped the government and they overthrew it with blood and steel. And yet, what happened? Who got installed next? Who got into power next? Another tyrant. It just perpetuates the cycle. It's just changing the CEO position of the empire. So the rebellion must therefore come from within, slaying the dragons within us, the shadows within us, dethroning the tyrant within in true creative expression, defending life, standing up for life, standing up for the earth, protecting the water, protecting the land, and this is the new paradigm. This is the new way of conscious creation. This is the new way of entrepreneurship. This is the new way of society and culture building. This is the new village. This is the global village where we can step into our potency creatively and live with the earth in harmony, regenerating the earth. We actually want to put carbon back into the soil. We want to clean the oceans. We want to clean the rivers. And we can do this with the union of technology and indigenous wisdom. And that is, that is the holy marriage. That is the condor and the eagle flying together finally, which has been told in prophecy. If you're watching this video, you are the children of that prophecy. And the revolution, the evolution must come from within. If you're feeling this, tag someone who needs to hear it, share this video. Peace and power, people of earth.